in just a couple of minutes, but we start now our team coverage here in Orlando with Gail Pascal Brown. About a dozen people hit the streets in Orlando today. They, like thousands of other Floridians, are battling a common ailment, health care. Why should somebody who's done everything right in their life be faced with losing everything because they get sick one day? This former nurse and diabetic lives in fear. With my illness and all, they could basically say, we're not going to insure you anymore. And that, uh, that's scary to anybody. A UCF student wakes up one night with a nosebleed and went to the ER. I was charged $1,622, an additional $645 emergency fee. With my parents in the process of foreclosing their home, they cannot pay for this. As a college student living off financial aid, I cannot afford to pay for this either. Organizing for America is a grassroots effort to put local faces on the president's call for health care reform, which they all support. The group also applauds Congressman Alan Grayson's support for the bill. They walked three blocks to his Orlando office to share their letters and concerns. I really want to thank uh, Alan Grayson for supporting this bill. Great, great, thank you. Congressman Grayson does plan to have a town hall meeting on health care reform next week, and so does Congresswoman Susan Cosmas. That's to be announced, but they're doing it via telephone. Why not in person? Is there a concern there would be a repeat of ruckus like the president's had? Uh, no, um, actually it's a better way for us to reach more of our constituents. I mean, in a town hall meeting you usually have a very small number participating. She says thousands sign on by phone. In Orlando, Gail Pascal brown West 2 News. We continue our team coverage now from our Washington Bureau. Sally Kidd tells us